Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, as this person, as this youth is watching this video, oh God, open his mind to see the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. And Satan, move your blocker, move your shield. Let this kid, oh God, see that witchcraft is evil. If any witches are watching this video, God, let them know that this is the evilness of a movement that's ever been on earth. When Satan has blind the mind of people so they will see the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh God, move the shield from these people. I let them see that witchcraft is evil. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ten, Eleven reasons why witchcraft is evil. And wickedness. Eleven reason why witchcraft is evil and wickedness. Part two. In Mecca, fifth chapter, verse twelve. And since your father cannot let you see or, or read the Bible, I'm going to be the the living Bible for you. I'm going to turn the pages of each glory to God Bible verse that condemn witchcraft that's mecca the fifth chapter verse 12 and i will cut off sorcerers from your land from your hand and you will have no more tellers of fortune this is where the the, the book where god said i'm gonna cut off all witches from the land and you shall no more teller of fortune you should not go to the the, the psychic hotline no more that what the Bible say. That's in Mecca, the fifth chapter, verse twelve. Leviticus, the book of Leviticus, the book of glory to God. Uh, Moses, the one of the Torah say, in chapter twenty, verse six. If a person turn to the medium, hey glory to God, or the witches, and necromancy, you talking to the dead, horrid after them, I will set my face against that person and will cut off from among his people so god was telling moses tell these people if a person turn to the medium we know what a medium is a person that is a witch a person that is a wizard and a necromancy a person that talked to the dead whoring after them i will set my face against that person and will cut off from among his people number third reason why Wow, uh, witchcraft is evil and wickedness. Leviticus, same book, verse 27. A man or woman who is medium or mechamancy shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stone and their blood shall be upon them. I'm talking about the wickedness of witchcraft. In those days, they was allowed to be stoned to death. Hey, glory to God. That's not my word. This is the Bible. And that's why parents don't let kids read the Bible. Yes, parents that are wizard give their book, give their child a book of witchcraft and sorceries. And, but they say don't pick up the Bible because the Bible, glory to God, condemn witchcraft. So the Bible say in Leviticus. The 2027, 20, a man or woman who is a medium or necromancy shall, shall be put to death. It's not my word. It's the Bible. It's the Holy Scripture. And they shall be stoned with stone. Their blood shall be upon them. This is witchcraft. The evilness of witchcraft. And you calling me bad? You calling me I'm going to hell? I'm going to heaven. Hey, glory to God. Because I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the danger of witchcraft. Hey, glory to God. I was on the, uh, on the YouTube video and I was spending basically majority of my time telling this kid that his, that his father had lied to him. The father tell him, don't read the Bible. There's a father telling a son, don't read the Bible, but he give him a book of shadow, give him a book of, of witches and warlock and, and how to cast spell, but don't want to make him pick up the Bible to make him live. How can a parent be so evil? Hey, glory to God. And also Exodus, it say that, and I'm going to read Exodus two times. This is a, another version. 
It said, Exodus 20, 18, you shall not permit a sorcerer to live. Hey, Lord, you should not allow them to live upon the earth. They need to be saved. They need to be repent. They need to be baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ and give their life to Jesus Christ. In 1 Chronicles 10, 13, 14, so Saul died for his breach of faith. He broke faith with the Lord in, the, in that he did not keep the commandment of the Lord and also consult a medium seeking guidance. He did not seek guidance from the Lord. Therefore, the Lord put him to death, turn the kingdom over to David, the son of Jesse. I'm talking about the evilness of witchcraft. In Isaiah the 47, 12, stand fast in enchantment and sorcery. Hey, glory to God, with which you have labor from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may in, in inspire terror. So they say, stand fast from enchantment. I'm talking about the danger, the wickedness of witchcraft. Leviticus again, 1921 say, do not turn to medium or necromancy. Do not seek them out. So make yourself unclean by them. I am the Lord, your God. I'm talking about necromancy. I'm talking about the danger of witchcraft. Witchcraft people is dangerous. I don't care if you say you's a great witch. They know goodness in being a witch. Hey, glory to God. They know goodness in being a witch. Hallelujah. And also, hallelujah. In uh in first Samuel 15 23. This is the this is where it started. This is where witchcraft starts. This is where how a person become a witch. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, for the rebellion is a sign of witchcraft. What? Rebellion is a sign of witchcraft and stubbornness is iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he have also rejected thee from being king. So this is where witchcraft start. Witchcraft start by you disobeying God. Which that start come from you being brought to God's stubbornness is as a nicotine and idolatry. Because don't reject the word. If you, if your father tell you don't read the Bible, this is the purpose. Because the father don't want you to be saved. He wants you to be damned. Your father wants you to be damned. So he said, don't read the Bible, Charlie. Don't read the Bible, Charlie. The Bible is a, is a bad book. Yes, the Bible is a bad book because you are a wizard. You are a witch. Anytime a parent would tell a little boy that's 10 years old, don't read the Bible because the Bible will change your life. I have another video how people see the Bible. This book will change your life. Yeah, this book will change your life. This book is not just any kind of book. This book will change your life. If you want your life to be changed, read the Bible. Read the Holy Scripture. That's all I preach. That's all I teach. I teach not politics. I teach not philosophy. I preach this word. Because this word will change your life. Which, hey glory to God, if you are a witch, it's time for you to consider your movement. It's time for you to move away from witchcraft. Hey glory to God. Now, Galatians the, the third chapter, now Paul go to a church that's full of witches. Hey, glory to God. And Paul was telling them in Galatians, the third chapter, verse 1, he said, Oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you, who have charmed you, who have duped you, who have bamboozled you, who gave you deception, that you should not obey the truth before who I, Jesus Christ, have been Evidently set forth crucified among you. 
They give you a new doctrine. They give you a new movement. It was Jesus Christ who died on the cross. It wasn't no other movement. It was no other calling, no other person but Jesus Christ. So you become a fool, uh, a Galatian, because the, the witches has charmed you. The word witch means to be charmed. So Paul was facing that old foolish Galatian who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Anytime somebody telling you don't obey the truth, don't read the Bible, the Bible can change your life. It gives a transformation. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, old things are passed away, all things become new. The Bible will change your life. He said, I sent forth my word and heal them. Deliverance in the world. That's why the devil, he know where time for you to read the Bible. He put you to sleep. When you watch television for 10 hours, you are up. You're awake. But as soon as you're going to pick the Bible up, the phone ring. As soon as you pick the Bible up, your bowel movement moving. As soon as you pick the Bible, somebody come to visit you. Because the devil don't want you to know the word. He wants to know, he want to know politics. He wants to know sports. That's why I dedicate myself not to watching sports, but to get information about Satan, to get information about secularism, and to get information about myself. Because those three are my enemy. The world is my enemy. Satan is my enemy. And self is my enemy. What do you mean self, your enemy? The Paul said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? This body is a death trap. So I got to stay close to God. When I stay close to God, God can help me to help the witches on YouTube or help the witches on Facebook. Even though I don't have a Facebook, thank God for that. Hey, glory to God. He said, oh, foolish Galatian. The churches are full of witches because they become foolish. That Satan offer you power and you take it like a fool. So Paul said, Oh foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should obey the truth? Before who eyes Jesus Christ have evidence set before and crucified among you. Hey, glory to God. And also, Galatian, uh, 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 Romans 5.20, and this is why Witchcraft is evil because witchcraft is part of the flesh. It is named among the flesh. Because the Bible said idolatry in Romans 5.20. It said idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy. So witchcraft is after idolatry. Idolatry, witchcraft. These are the name of the flesh. The Bible say in verse 19, the work of the flesh are manifested. And then it say verse 20, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy. All these things deal with the flesh. And witchcraft is part of the flesh. Which is part of going to God, idolatry, hatred. People that are haters. And you call yourself a Christian. Christian, how can a Christian be a hater? Because they're still in the flesh. The flesh, the Bible says, the flesh war against the spirit, and the spirit war against the flesh. These are contrary one to another. That's why I did a video called Jim versus God. Anytime you spend more time in the gym, your flesh is more important than your spiritual man. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the tenth. Hallelujah. Amen. Tenth reason. Why witchcraft is evil and wickedness. In Revelation. Hallelujah. The 21 chapter. Verse number 8. And a read. But the fearful, the coward, the unbelieving, glory to God, and the abominable, the vile, the murderers, those are executioners, whoremongers, fornicator, and sorcerer are witches. 
and whoremongers and sorcerers, idolaters, folks that worship idols, and all liars shall have their part in a lake of fire, which burneth with fire. This not this not this not Theophilus. This not life journey, glory, church. This is the word of God. So I'm telling you how to get out of witchcraft is to obey the word of God and get out, out of, of it while you have a chance. Because you're going to end up in the lake of fire, which burn it with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So how do you get out of witchcraft? You get out of witchcraft by yielding your life to Jesus Christ. By submitting your will to his will and say, Father, come into my life and save me. And the first step is to repent. The second step is to counseling of your sin. And then you get baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And you receive the Holy Ghost. Simeon did it. Simon did it. Hey, glory to God. In, in, in the eighth chapter, Simeon or Simon, he say, what must I do to be saved? And Simeon received the gift of salvation. And then he wanted to buy the Holy Ghost. And Peter said, you know, go of business. And he said, Peter, please, please, please pray for me. So what you say won't come to me. So the deliverance for our witch. If you believe the Bible, the book of shadow will not save you. Yes, the book of shadow will not save you, but the Holy Ghost, the Holy Word will save your life. The evilness of witchcraft. Witchcraft is evil. Every witch is our evil. They know goodness. I don't care if you see you practicing good to save a life with witchcraft. What about the gospel? What about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? What about, it's, the, the Bible says, I send forth my word. He said, my word are spirit and they are life. Witchcraft is evil to the core. And I'm going to stick to the word because God, the Bible says, let God be true and every man be a liar. Let me pray for you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Bless this witch that's watching this video, oh God. Save them right now. Satan, I come against you right now. The blood of Jesus against you right now. Loose your shackles. Loose right now in the Abbasha. Ikaradabo Shekita. Ha glory. In the name of Jesus, save this witch right now. Oh God, send the fire of the Holy Ghost. I send the fire. Hallelujah. Fire. Come on down. Fire. Consume the witch right now. Oh God, save their soul right now. Oh God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your deliverance. I thank you right now, oh God, for moving the veil over the eyes of these witches that's on YouTube. Oh God, we thank you for the deliverance of witches right now. Yes, I thank you. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for saving the witch right now. Save them as you save Simon, Simeon. That was in the book of Acts, the eighth chapter. Save a witch right now, oh God. Let my preaching, let my teaching be not in vain. But Lord, save somebody that's been cursed by the witch. Cancel the curse. Reverse the curse right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. And I hope this message has blessed you to, don't, to, 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 to be at school and go to the library and read the Bible. Read those scriptures that I tell you to read. And you'll see the revelation why the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. God bless you. And may God smile his face upon you. And the fire of the Holy Ghost save the witch. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank God. I thank God for the truth. Because the truth shall make you free. God bless you. Peace.